All right, in this lesson, I'll show you how to easily blur out a face, a background, a logo, anything that you want to um, change the recognizability. So um, this is a work in progress. It's a uh, ebook cover that I'm working on for Jacqueline Sidel, and I'm actually going to be uh, taking the head off of this illustration and putting her. I'm going to work her right into the the drawing, so she's on her own book cover. Um, so that that's why I'm going to use it as a, a bit of a guinea pig just to show you how to blur out a face. Now the first thing I noticed when I opened this up, this is a huge file by the way, it's a big uh, print res image, is it looks pixelated but that's just because we're um, zoomed out, out quite a bit. Just to let you know, sometimes you'll get uh, larger images in GIMP as a bit of a preview so it'll look all scraggly and pixelated but you can always uh, put your fears at ease by just clicking on 100%. And if you look, you'll see it's actually not pixelated when you're uh, zoomed in to 100%. Uh, that said, let me zoom back a little bit. Okay, so um, yeah, there's a couple of ways in GIMP that you can blur something out. So in this case, I'm gonna blur out this face. And just like in Photoshop, you have a blur tool. It even looks the same. Uh, it looks like a giant uh, raindrop. So I'm gonna click on that. And uh, whenever you click on a tool in GIMP, you also have options over here. So the size, the pressure, et cetera, et cetera. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to make that just a bit bigger. And as I'm doing that, I can always uh, preview by just, uh, I can see how big it, it's getting. So we'll just make it a little bigger. That's good. Okay, so um, intuitively enough, if I wanna blur out the face, I just start uh, dragging over the face and I drag, 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 and it blurs, 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 blurs. And believe it or not, it is blurring, but it does it very slowly. So um, using the blur tool can be good for subtle blurs, like when you're trying to blur together your, I don't know, your sky and your horizon or um, things of that nature, edges so that they don't look so sharp, especially when you're cutting things out and pasting them in. So I could just uh, continue to blur, 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 but it would actually take me a little while um, to make it so she's not recognizable anymore. Usually when you're blurring someone's face out, it's because you don't have their permission, for example, to have their face in your image. Like for example, um, you took a beautiful photo and your neighbor's child is in it and you don't want to put it online without uh, your neighbor's permission, so you can blur out the face. But anyway, so you could um, play around with your options here to make uh, the pressure more and there's uh, the rate here it's only at 50% right now so we could up that to 100% and then it would blur more strongly it would still take a little while to get it so it's no longer recognizable but we almost got it we almost got it um, anyway so that's one way to do it another way to do it we'll just uh, keep it as it is is you can uh, make a selection and I'm just gonna use the uh, elliptical selection tool. So let's uh, select just the facial features like here. And then if we go under filters, just like in Photoshop, they're called filters in GIMP, we can go under blur. And there's uh, different kinds of blurs here. I'm a Gaussian blur kind of gal. So I'm gonna click on Gaussian blur. And here you get a preview. And um, you can decide uh, how strong it's going to be. So let's, whoa, hang on a minute. I thought these two were connected, but oh, there we go. Okay. So there we go. Now it's very blurry. I can maybe make it a little bit more subtle. Anyway, so you decide and that's it. I say, okay. And then we could say, uh, select none just to get rid of that. And voila, blurred out features. We could probably even blur it a bit more. And I'm not a big fan in GIMP of, um, you know, it's a very sharp, sharp contrast between what was blurred and what was not. So actually you could go and use your blur tool and uh, blend everything together a bit like that. So that's blurring out a face. Um, you can also use it for a background and or for anything in your image that would be a no-no, like using someone's logo, if someone's wearing a Nike t-shirt or drinking Coca-Cola in your otherwise perfectly original copyright-free image, you could use the blur tool or the blur filter just to uh, get rid of those and then you're in good shape. So I hope that was helpful and see you in the next lesson.